people will either say he's a clout chaser, mm-hmm. they'll say rap is just entertainment, so don't take this stuff so serious that, that people are saying their lyrics, or they'll try to be on some bullying type stuff. But leave niggas alone, especially niggas that will shoot your Christian ass. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. The clout chasing part, I'm laughing at whoever try to call me a clout chaser. Like, I'm laughing at that. You know what I mean? I'm laughing at that. Let alone if it's somebody with a big platform, you know? Like a, like a, uh, what's my man's name? Uh, Joe, um. Joe Budden. Yeah. Joe Budden, I seen it. I, I seen that. And when I seen it, and you and Joe Budden. D1 is still clout chasing. Oh, uh, what do you do now? Um. Uh, talking to me on the internet and that's the part that's cloud chasing it's the tagging people it's yes tagging people speaking to people through the internet that you don't know that don't want to be spoken to by you they don't want nothing to do with you mm-hmm. i don't want to, i don't want nothing to do with whatever you're doing online <laughs> which is the same thing that jim jones was trying to say to you which is the same thing that ross and meek was trying to say to you which was Simple as if you want to have a real conversation about whatever you're passionate about through the internet is not the way to do that to people you don't know. You started it. So, so, you, you, so, so that's why he's saying something. He wasn't saying nothing to Joe before. Have you ever met Joe Budden? No. So you I, never met I him? I was a fan of Joe Budden's music, bro. When he, when he was putting music out, I was, I was one of the people that was putting my friends on saying, no, I know y'all don't like this dude, but listen, bro, listen to this. man. He, he, he's speaking some real stuff right Joe here. Joe Budden is a better podcaster than a musician. <laughs> can he ever be I'm from the south but Joe Budden uh, rubbed me wrong a little bit about the Migos alright we gotta wrap this up though Oops. I've been covering for so long I'm glad they succeeded man hey man you guys are nominated tonight mm. when he, you know when they were speaking and they couldn't understand him and he walked off on him mm. um I don't, these guys are, the South is being disrespected anyway. And I don't think you understand the the the, the magnitude of what's happening when it come down to just Southern artists. Mm. You understand? Ain't got much, it, it, you, you in that sauce too. I ain't think about yeah. that. <laughs> yeah, I never thought about that. I'm just that. telling you. And you right, and with everything that's been playing out, Come on, I'm the Southern dude, You're and this is all East Coast. You this got is me. All exactly. So part I, of I'm the a whole Southern, I'm a throw, I'm a, you This is what I do on Boss Talk anyway. So mm. I'm looking at the whole Mason Dixon line and all that, bro. Mm. Like, uh, it's different for me. Mm. I just know that when you talk in your dialect and the way that you from New Orleans, that, that adds something to who you are for them people, bro. Believe that. Gotcha. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? I'm being yeah, real. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. when it comes to Joe Button, I'm going to go back to him. I I, I never I love his podcasting. Mm-hmm. He's a hell of a podcaster when it comes down to understanding how to get into the issues and speak on what's going on and create his narrative. He's good at that. Mm-hmm. Way better than being a rapper for me. Mm-hmm. I'm just being real. <laughs> I don't know where you coming from. I'm not riding with that. I'm being real. <laughs> I never listened to Pump, Pump, Pump It Up. I heard it because it was a song they kept making you listen to on the radio. Right, right, right. But no, no, no. Uh, okay. I th- I, no. How do you come up with that? Yeah. How do you say you, you love this music like that? And you know you cap. I don't yeah. think. No, you think I'm <laughs> capping, bro. No, brother, no you, you, you brother, doing this for the cameras. Brother, yeah. brother, there's, brother, there's no part of me at this point that there's, there's concerned with trying to I'm just messing yeah, with you. cap when it comes to that. I mean, that, when did yeah. you listen to Joe Button then? Let's get into it. Yeah, he had a he had a mixtape series called Mood Music. See, he really be listening to it. I never yeah. I don't know this. Go yeah. ahead. And so. it was good for you. Yeah, it was good for it. me. Yeah, he what had, was your favorite song? He had an album called Patty Room. I like that album too. Uh, I think my favorite Joe Budden song is a song he has. Um, uh, I just want to follow you, Lee. I don't want the money. I don't want to. I've never heard this song in my life. It's bro. featuring Joel Ortiz. I've never heard wow. this song. It's a song where he's like talking to God without saying God's name, but he's saying, you know. Follow my lead, follow, follow my lead. Pre- prescription bottles, I just want to follow my Like, he's talking to God about everything he's going through in his life. And he's basically saying, I'm tired of being a being a slave to all of those things. And I just want to follow your lead. And Got I'm like, it. man, I, I could feel see that. why that would be your favorite song. There you go. Sure. Yeah. So and you that, know he knows. He knows. There you go. I know he. <laughs> there you go, brother. I know he knows. I know he knows who God is. And I know that. He, he has said in his music before, he just want to follow God's lead. So therefore, um, my, my Without question. Without calling his name, though. 
Ooh. in the song. How you sure it was God he was talking about? <sighs> Don't be hitting me with all these hard you questions. You understand though. what you know, I mean? I, I ain't you got to call him by his name. Dang, I ain't never not got an answer for something, but that is interesting. Wow. Because you don't wow. know. We assume and we turn things to benefit us yeah. in our thought process because we can't think of it any other way because that's who we serve. But how we know that that person is serving that he could be serving idols or mm. whoever. Mm. A lot of people believe in the sun and all kind of stuff, bro. I'm be honest. You don't with you. never know. Mm -hmm. You don't know what they, what they're, who they're. You remember we talked about this last time you was on here mm -hmm. when people say I want to give honor and glory to God. Mm -hmm. You don't know, right? Which God? Yeah. Well, I I do know that. Uh, that is just proof, though, the fact that I can name that. I know y'all was like deep cap and yeah, he ain't yeah. no song. I did so say that. I, no, I apologize. That's you a real really, song. Yeah, you really, uh, yeah. I'm, I couldn't. I don't you. know nothing but pump, pump, pump it up. <laughs> right. But I just right. Do, right. pump it up and it put it going and going and going and going. Go, go, that, that's all I know. See, I know the song. I only got I one know song <laughs> that I I know. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. I, but definitely yeah. podcasting. I respect yeah. him. He the big dog. I respect what he's doing for as you know just the way he put all those people together in that room gotcha. and and you know organize that that takes yeah. something and to come from where he come from i remember his first show mm -hmm. you know where he went through some stuff to get mm -hmm. to who he is now mm -hmm. he went through some stuff mm -hmm. he made some great uh entrepreneurial moves it seems mm -hmm. and i think that's big and where we're at now today he got it on point he probably one of the most popular people in that realm gotcha than, than you'll ever see so do but you, you but you still can't play with god i don't care no, how popular no 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 I, I definitely agree with that i got a question i don't um, want to leave your button right but now keep going okay keep going. I, yeah. I was trying to because i really so we, so our we, introduction to each other we've never met in never person met. we've never spoken but my introduction to him was him bringing me up on his podcast okay bringing bringing me up as a topic of discussion um d1 who's a podcaster from new orleans called out meek mills called out rick ross called out jim right and instantly casting me off as he didn't even know who I was. He was like, they was like, D1. They were like, who's D1? He was like, oh, apparently he's a podcaster from New Orleans or something like that. Who's a podcaster from New Orleans? Called out Meek Mills, called out Rick Ross, called out Jim. Mm -hmm. And he said that basically you can't say on both sides of the coin. And he made these statements recently, da, da, da. And instantly he just cast me off as, oh, he's a cloud chaser. You know what I mean? And that's one of the big three. People are either say. He's a clout chaser. Mm -hmm. They say rap is just entertainment, so don't take this stuff so serious that, that people are saying their lyrics, or they'll try to be on some bullying type stuff yeah. and be like, oh, Lil Man, like, who are you? But leave niggas alone, especially niggas that will shoot your Christian ass. So instantly, he did, he did one of the big three, just try to cast me off as a clout chaser. And that's where I was like, wow, bro. Really grew up, uh, you know, advocating for your music to other people. Mm -hmm. That's interesting that that's. Like that, and you a rapper. If anything, maybe do a little. All you gotta do is a quick Google. I'm so Googleable, it's ridiculous. You heard me? <laughs> like you could Google me and see all of what I'm doing. Eleven albums out, done toured this country more than ten times. I ain't even got enough fingers to count all these collabs I done did. But instantly, no, no, no journalism being done. You know what I'm saying? On on a show where you're covering other people and just because you may not have heard of me instantly, oh, he just a clout chaser. Oh, you ain't got to call people's names out, da-da-da. But my issue is, brother, your whole show, the way that you remain relevant at this point, your whole show is based on topics where what's almost every one of your topics is talking about other celebrities. You're right. I seen where you put up where he apologizes a lot. <laughs> you pulled that up. Yeah. I see it was a bunch of them. Yeah. Like, what made you go into the apologetic uh, uh, search, Google search? That's a great question, too. That's a great question because I am a busy man. I'm a college professor. I'm a full-time artist who's pushing his music, who's also putting new content out on social media constantly. I don't even be having time to deal with a lot of this stuff, you know? So I get around to something when I get to it. So somebody has sent me a clip where he was apologizing to my brother, Lupe Fiasco. That's my brother right there, you heard me? That's who gave me this watch that I wear. Wow. Everybody no. always loved this watch. Yeah, like, oh that's my God. nice. I yeah, like it. Lupe gave me this when we were on tour together around the country, right? So... With that being said, they sent me a clip where he, in the same clip, he was apologizing to Lupe in the beginning of the clip, and then near the end of the clip, soon as he finished apologizing to Lupe, he said, but that other nigga, 
Oh, I ain't know. Uh, oh, he, oh, he's he's clout chasing. That other nigga. Oh, he clout chasing. Oh, that 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 Christian. Oh yeah, he's a clout chasing Christian. You you clout chasing this and da 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 da. He going and in. He was a mother clout chasing this wow. da da da. Wow. In the same clip where he's apologizing to Lupe. So in order to see the clip, I had to go and type in on YouTube. Joe Budden apologizes too, and, and I was typing in Lupe Fiasco. After I typed in Joe Budden apologizes, it's too. a lot of them came up. Wow, <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. So it's just like okay, um, I've never apologized or had to apologize for anything that I've said because if I bring somebody's name up, I'm willing to speak to them. I'll never talk about somebody without being willing to speak to them. So with that being said, it's like, yo, what is that to apologize for when I'm standing on the word of God? That's my foundation. Wow. And when I'm willing to talk to anybody, not just talk about them. And that hits different when it's like some people, you don't know what their foundation is that, that's making them stand on what they stand on. So all that I'm standing on business, everybody said, this, what kind of business? <laughs> I'm standing on kingdom business. You hear me? <laughs> what kind of business y'all standing on? They got all kind of businesses. They got check cashing business. They got fast food business. They got clothing business. They standing on business, man. Man, I'm standing on kingdom business. You that's hard, me? too. Kingdom business is the business need to be stood Come on. Come on, man. So, so, so be specific. You hear me? That's so, hard. Yeah. So when you heard, you know, because he had an issue with NBA Youngboy here recently. And what he did? I think, didn't he apologize? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.